Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Romancing Saga 3. In this extra episode, we are going to take a quick look at Harald's intro. Yeah, that's okay. And afterwards, we are going to do some special stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. No! A black person! in a world of only white persons and a few Asians that we don't even know exist. No. <laughs> huh. <laughs> oh, poor Harit. Yeah. And we get this nice scene. Oh, I... <laughs> I already thought the th thing was glitching out, but... <laughs> oh, Fatima! <laughs> El Nul! El Nul? Who is El Nul? Harit? Nah. Huh. By the way, I think this is the only map that um, you never can go at in the normal game. That is referenced in a cutscene of sorts. I mean... Huh. Aww. Oh well. And from here on out, the story develops the same as in... Julian's and Mikael's intro, respectively, so watch those episodes, or the main LP. I will meet you back uh, at a later date, after I've done some preparations with Harit. Later! Alright, we are back. Let's go to Librov. Yeah, I quickly threw together a party. It's not great, but it's a decent few people. Yes, I used action replay codes to max out the stats because I don't want to spend hours and hours of grinding for this short um, bonus episode. Um, yeah, everybody is equipped with a few techs and a lot of evades. Um, their equipment for, for armor is the same. Dust rope, yeah, you can find them from Reapers. E Marshall, you can make them with Marshalls at the workshop. Uh, Bambrays, you can buy at Wilmington. Uh, feather, you can um, make at the workshop with feather, tiny feathers which drop from Griffons. And yeah. Water mirrors, you can find them from Turtle Dragons. The Life King, I robbed from Mikhail during the intro. I gave him the Falchion, because at this point this is legally his strongest weapon to go in this slot. The others have dragon spears all around, except for Wood, who has a beauty katana. So, and I forgot to rest up. Great. Oh well. It's not like there's uh, not an inn around. So anyway, if you are playing as Harit, there's this special person in the pub at Librov. Fatima, still alive? <laughs> Princess. In the king's capital. Huh. Oh well. 
So let's quickly go to Ake and heal up. And I guess I won't cut this out. But yeah, um, if you're playing as Harit, yes, you get an extra dungeon to go through. Now, isn't that nice? And the best thing about um, that dungeon is that, well, so yeah, this is the area where the Divine Tower would be. Now there's a King's Capital open for us. The nice thing about this dungeon is you can actually fight Ashuras here, or Asuras, whatever. So you can clear the ancient cave without any problems and just grind at this place. There's also a bunch of armor that you can get relatively early in the game. So at our levels any yeah, the enemies um, did not level up with us because well I used cheats to level. It's not like um the battle counter or whatever it is went up. So, yeah, weak enemies all over. Oh, what's this? It's empty. Sometimes you can check these gravestones to get stuff. But oh well. Okay, I guess this was a dead end. Let's check out the other direction. Also, if um, you can't go through the store up there, or how to get there, I um, would appreciate it. I would generally appre appreciate all information about the King's Capital. Um, if Fatima really is here, or anything. For all I know, it's just an extra dungeon. That exists for one reason and one reason only. Well, pretty much. And that is to get um, Harit's ultimate weapon. Well, yeah. So, which direction should we go at to? Let's start up here. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll show this quick off quickly. If you push the switch, slimes up here. And I wasn't fast enough to get past this guy. Oh well. He's going to go down like a wussy. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. So, yay! Boss time. It's an undead. Nothing special. Oh, well. Bloody 2000 gold and potion 3. Well, that sure was worth it, wasn't it? Oh well. So. Whoa, elementals. And I ran right into a whirlwind. Well. Also, in case I eventually don't get ambushed, I think the formation I'm using is actually Tiger's Cave. The Tiger's Cave formation is somewhat interesting. Um, in that you... Oh, oh, oh! This um, demon, by the way, um, is one of the stationary gargoyles. 
stationary, stationary gargoyles always have a chance to spawn Ashuras. So this guy is the one you want to grind up with on high levels. On low levels, low levels, it's just a fish. How this is going to become the strongest demon ever, I don't know. Or oh, uh, why? Uh, why do demon sprites spawn fish monsters? Uh, oh well. Anyway, we get the war god. It's an armor. It's quite powerful. If you can get this thing at the beginning of the game, you are so set for so much. Just use Desert Lance or Phoenix Dance, put um, the dude, Harid for example, with that armor in the front position, in the position that's hit, going to be hit the most, and you are so set. Also, by the way, um, surprisingly, the Phoenix Dance formation, which I don't think I have, no, um, makes the, um, the dude way more hit than Desert Lands. Even though you'd rather th think this from Desert Lands, wouldn't you? Oh well. So, hi there, fairy lady. What are you? Bella Donna. Hi there, Bella Donna. Oh yeah, nice thing about Tiger's Cave. If the enemy attacks um, not last, you take um, only half damage. Also your defense is raised. It's really nice. Oh, Ghost Hand. Yeah. I never knew where to get those things, but Ghost Hands, rather good gauntlets, really. Rather good gauntlets. I've heard they also are dropped by ghosts and ghasts, so knock yourself out, out training for them if you want. I've never found any, <laughs> from them at least. So yeah. Well, it's nice to see that the ghost hand is actually findable in this game. Oh well. I didn't want to cheat it in with action replay codes, otherwise I would have ghost hands all around, except uh, instead of van rays. Oh come on, spider! There's nothing you can do to me, spider! How about you go and get your big sisters? So, can we avoid some of these guys? Yeah. So, the le left and right pathway lead down here. That's a zombie. Well, not for long, and he is not. Stop attacking first, it's annoying. Oh well. Uh. Ah. Nothing to the left. Well, zombies, will you leave me alone already? I'm just glad battles are over so quickly. That's why I cheated up the levels like that. So can I at least avoid that? Mm, of course! I hate you, Elemental. See, you are not even a challenge. Okay, where do we go next? Let's go right first. Yeah, a zombie. 
why would we even want to fight this guy? There is nothing in this room. Really, there isn't. There's nothing at all in this room. I'm not lying. So, why did I want to go to all the, all the trouble? Well, there's something in that room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a switch on the grave, so and it leads to some treasure. When I found this uh, in my test run, I almost freaked out and thought, yeah, the, uh, Fatima is going to be down there, but no. If it was that easy, someone would have found her long, long ago and written about it. Oh, well. No, I'd, I'd really like to know if the whole thing continues. If there's something more about this King's Capital than I am going to show you. Because I, it would be nice. It would round off Harit's scenario. But I, I guess um, it was just too rushed. Well, snakes! What are these mother-humping snakes doing on this mother-humping grave? Oh well. Don't worry everybody, it's going to be over right quick. Hmm. I went ahead and off streamed the stuff. Yay, a slit hammer! Strongest hammer in the game can otherwise only be found um, as a drop from Ogres or something. Hurricane boots? I think they have a secondary effect that makes you immune to earth or something. But yeah, otherwise, not all that good for boots, really. There's better boots, like Feather or Bolt. Uh, plastic, I mean. And I ran right into that frog, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you are a frog. Now, please... Put your tentacles where they belong, inside your mouth, and die. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, it certainly looks all symmetrical here. I wonder what that could mean. Yeah. If you go to the strafes left or right, you can, if you want, fight some dragon zombies. Oh well, they're going to go down like wussies. Ugh. Hot gas. Why hot gas? So, do you want to die today? Well, they should go down in this round. Apparently, they can take more of a beating, but then again, they are quite advanced enemies. So, yeah, of course they would. Whoa! Wow, that one could take a lot of abuse. I am amazed! Yeah, the same thing goes for the right drave there. That one. And the center drave. Remember Harit and how the strongest weapon he can equip in his first weapon slot is this piece of carp? Yeah. His famous Kamshin. Huh. Who's talking? Yes, we are going to inherit the true Kamshin. Of course! 
Nice that the sword has its own sprite. But yeah, this is a black Dragon Jeweler. For all I know, it's the strongest Dragon Jeweler in existence. So we are advised to use our strongest text against it. Let's try Earth Crescent first. Yeah, this is the reason why I <laughs> cheated the whole party up so much. As with all Dragon Rulers, he can drop a Dragon Spear. So, yeah. And of course, this is the only um, way to get another Dragon Spear. That is a fourth one in legal playthrough and fifth one with Mana Sword. A uh, Dragon Spear, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, <laughs> sorry, yeah, yeah, Dragon Spear. Oh well. During the normal playthrough, there's a white Dragon Ruler in the Ice Galaxy, and the green Dragon Ruler at the Swamp Ruins, the Rotten Sea Ruins. Then there's this black dragon ruler in Harrods playthrough at the king's capital. And there's also going to be a red black uh, a red dragon ruler at the final dungeon. Anyway, for defeating the black dragon ruler, we get the true Kamshin. And this is pretty much the whole reason. Yeah, look at the attack power, it's almost twice as much as the Falchion. And uh, in fact, the Kamshin is the second strongest normal, uh, normally available sword in the game. Not counting, of course, the glitched 7 star sword. Yeah, look at that. Kamshin! But yeah, that's the sole reason why you. Um, would come to this place. Other than for completion's sake. And. Gesundheit! Yeah! <laughs> Dang it. That was not a masterful sneeze. Ah. Ah, leave me alone. Can't you see I'm Kamshin? I guess running away still is more efficient time wise than fighting them. Oh well. Yeah, this is pretty much already going to be it for this episode. I just wanted to get out a little. But... Yeah, this place is as good as any. So... No. Whoa. Oh, will you let me go get out of here already? Stupid zombies. I just want to end the episode in peace and quiet on the outside. So yeah, this way loops around, kinda. Symmetrical, whatever. What do these enemies have against me? That they can't just let me go. It's not like they are any challenge at all. They should run away, like an earthbound. Man. Oh well, what can you do? Of course, the Guardian. Okay, let's take care of the Guardian. Then. Yeah. But yeah, um, the, the Kamshin is pretty much the only reason that I know of why you would um, come to this dungeon. 
the sea. Unless, of course, there is something I don't know, which is entirely possible. Also, I've read that uh, people have opened this map, these maps, in uh, editing program, checked it out, and found nothing. After all, rumor is rumor. The most annoying thing, every time you enter and leave this thing, you get this dialogue. Princess is here, and... Ah! I hate not knowing. But yeah, that was the king's capital. And... Yeah. And this is probably going to be the final bonus episode. Regarding levels and such. The only other things that are going to come now are, well, repeat boss fights, more or less. That is the Abyss Lords with multi techs as well as the final boss with multi techs And, um... And... Yeah, exactly. Um, fighting the final boss in his hard form. Don't know who I'm going to do this with, with because that's going to be, well, hard. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. Anyway, this is the end of this episode. Look forward to the next episode. This is Legion, and goodbye.